this is my device that has been updated let's go ahead and see the changes if we go to the about this iphone section you can see a very good positive thing that we have a build number that now ends with an a we took five steps in the positive direction so the build number is 19a 5337a however when it comes to the modern firmware version it hasn't been updated it's still the same 5.00.00 now let's talk about the new features and new changes that came with this update because there's quite a few the first one that i want to show you has to do with icloud so if you go to your icloud you can see that we now have private relay beta so if you click there you'll be able to see the different subscription prices i do notice that there's a bit of a delay when you click the relay but you can see some of the packages that you can subscribe to should you want icloud relay now this for some reason is called a beta because this is a feature that apple is beta testing and i'll be happy to let you know that for the public beta or those that are on ios 15 public beta is as well as ipad os 15 betas this is a feature that you'll be able to check up later on once this update comes out to those that are on the public beta now also another new feature that came out has to do with wallpapers so you can see that when you go to the wallpaper section they have removed the ios 14 wallpaper that was on the left hand side everything is now current and up to ios 15 wallpapers which is something that's good if you open the apple watch and and go to general and go to focus and turn off your focus you can see the wording isn't as complicated as it was before it says turning on a focus for iphone will not affect your apple watch so if this is off then it simply tells you that if you do turn off like a focus mode on your device by selecting any focus mode that is not going to be brought over to the apple watch before it said some complicated information like if you uh, turn off this feature uh, turning off focus for apple watch will require you to set up focus separately for apple watch so some long complicated sentences have been shortened with this update but i always like to mirror my focus so i'll keep it on for now if we take a live photo you can see that i do have the live uh, photos on take a photo and then go to view the photo before you had to like sort of pull up to be able to select the different loops or movements or bounces that you can select with your picture but as you can see here it's on the top left you can click on it you can select loop and it takes a bit of moments to process i don't know if it's still a beta in transition or something like that but you can see that now it's on the top left and you can always change it from there which is a quicker and also a better way to do it another thing that i want to show you has to do with maps so if you have like your favorite restaurant or something uh, that you want to rate or give a five star to or thumbs up or thumbs down you can actually go to the restaurant if it has been added in your region this is something that's in transition and is being rolled out in stages so you can easily go to your uh, store or something like that and be able to give them a rate and once you click on the rate feature you see that we actually have a new splash screen maybe i'll take a screenshot and tweet about it later if you use a vpn then you can always uh, try to reconnect it with this update since school vpns have been uh, added to the support list if you're having like private vpn issues like on beta 5 and 6 then you can always turn on your vpn and you should see it connected and your packets should be tunneling with the vpn on now unlike what was there before now there's no mention of universal control on ios 15 beta 7 or as well as on ipad os 15 beta 7 which is kind of unfortunate but that is what it is hopefully the reason why they are delaying mac os pixel beta is perhaps to work on universal control 
for some time now there is some resolved issues the first one has to do with maps as you can see maps received quite a number of updates if you're having some buildings or bridges or roads or some sections of maps that were not loading or unscaling properly then this issue has been fixed in maps and also if you're having some wi-fi bluetooth and connectivity issues those should be fixed with this update now i did try to open my twitter to see if it will crash like what was happening on beta 6 and beta 4 so let's see what happens here you can see that it hasn't crashed since i updated although some people have already reported that their twitter app has already began to crash on this update so that is something that we have to hold our fingers crossed for it's dependent on the device and i guess on the twitter version that's in your phone that's about it for me stay safe and i'll definitely see you in the next video very soon peace